Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Indie Spotlight. My name is Bear. This is Spy Chameleon. It's a game by Unfinished Pixel, and the music is fantastic. In fact, I just want to let you hear it for a little while. Alright, <laughs> back to the actual point of the video. This is an arcade puzzle game, and uh, you play as the chameleon that you see on screen, and the main point of the game is to change colors to blend in with your environment to get past the robots and all the other garden stuff that are preventing you from finishing one of five missions that span across 75 total levels, so basically 15 levels per mission. Here's the uh, options screen, pretty basic stuff, full screen off or on, resolution up, you can get your quality up. And then chameleon mode, I have really no idea what this is, honestly. This is chameleon mode where you control this fly. So, there's that. <laughs> Whatever you want to take out of it. It's pronounced Chameleon. Yes, yes indeed. But, this is an arcade puzzle game. I'm going to show you guys off a little bit of what the game in is of itself. Let's do it. Let's just start off with level one just to go through the uh, basics here. Now, again, as I mentioned, there's 75 total levels. Across every level, you have three main objectives. You can either aim to uh, collect all of the flies in a particular room, you can also try to beat the assigned time to the level. For example, this one is a time limit of 7 seconds, 7.2 seconds. And you can also try to collect all the flies in a room. Or sorry, no, you can also try to collect the ladybug, which is only unlocked after you actually finish the level one time. So there's a bit of, uh, bit of replayability to it. Which is pretty fantastic. Other than that, it's pretty damn straightforward. You get, you, uh... Go through the levels, you try to avoid being spotted by the guards. If you are spotted, alarm goes off. It's pretty much a one-hit kill kind of thing. Bear for World President just subscribed. <laughs> I'm going to avoid doing the uh, the hockey announcer style subscription. Thank you again while we're doing the Indie Spotlight here. But thank you, thank you very much. Bear for World President for just <laughs> subscribing to the channel. Truly do appreciate that. Okay, here we go. And we've made it. So, yeah. Pretty basic stuff for the first few levels. It's gonna take a little bit, I think, here to uh, get into the the real deal. But yes, this is uh, this is the the big selling point of the game right here. So as you can see, I just hit B on my Xbox 360 controller. And uh, by the way, that may be a limiting factor to those of you who may be looking to get this on your PC. You do pretty much want to be playing with an Xbox 360 controller. It's pretty much designed uh, to be played that way. Uh, so I think I can get to a safe spot here. So you can change to all these different colors, and it's pretty instantaneous, so I really like how responsive it is. There's no, like, delay between changing colors, so you can, like, change on the fly and uh, make sure that you get to where you need to be very quickly. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, the big focal point aspect of it, and of course it's very basic in these early levels. I think I might switch down to a, a later stage just to really show off what's going on in here because it can get pretty awesome by awesome I mean complex and uh, confusing pretty quickly it's a very interesting interesting endeavor let's realize there's three ladybugs on this level so we could definitely go for that let's try it out let's try it out oh goodness this level here actually gave me quite a bit of trouble as I was first doing it even though it really shouldn't be <laughs> okay there we go Wait for the opportunity to strike. Okay, and got it. Nice. All ladybugs quiet. Okay, let's go ahead and select a. Uh, oh shoot! Actually, did restart. Let's go ahead and select a uh, different level here, and we can show off a bit more of the uh, complexity of the game. Let's go ahead and hit the level like 12 or something like that in this first mission. There we go. Change on the fly. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so. Something you just noticed here is that blue circle that's hovering around me. That means there are cameras in the level. So, if I stand here for too long without ch blending into my environment, the camera's gonna spot me, as you just saw it happen. And that means I need to rush over here to this carpet and blend in with my environment. As you can see, I'm very, very stealthy. It's almost like the, uh, the splinter cell theory where certainly you can blend into the environment with the majority of your body, but nobody happens to notice the massive lights on the top of your head. Same with the uh, the blindfold around my eyes as a chameleon. That's fine. No big deal. So, now we're waiting for the opportunity to jump through these two here and hopefully make it over to the red. Very good. Then into the environment. We're good to go. 
Sweet. Very, very nice. This game is called Spy Chameleon. If you type the exclamation point spotlight command in the Twitch chat, you can be taken to their website. The game is available for $6, I believe, at the moment. Oh, man, that ladybug is actually going to be kind of difficult to grab. See if it's even uh, possible here. Okay, so we got to knock over a pancan. Oh, my God, how in the world? I don't know if I can do that. Maybe if I just sit here for a second. Nope, they both spot me. Damn, that's tricky. So yes, it's available for $6 through a humble widget at the moment. Oh my goodness. There's another uh, aspect of the game that I really like. You can knock over the paint cans to create a temporary uh, safe haven for yourself to switch to that color. Very cool little feature. And uh, you can also vote for it on Steam Greenlight if you go over to their website, which I believe it is, uh, I believe is simply spychameleon.com. If you want to take the, uh, the simple route plugging into your browser yourself, feel free to do so. Let's make a run for it here. Oh, damn, got me right on the edge of that. Shizzle. Okay, here we go. See if I can stay right there. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Good, good, good. Reminds you of Stealth Bastard Deluxe. Sounds like a great name for a game. Safe haven again. Good, good, good. All right, make it, make it, make it nice. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, so yeah, this is the uh, this is the majority of what it is. Unfortunately, this is one of those games that doesn't really offer many talking points. It's pretty straightforward, but there are quite a few different elements that you wouldn't expect uh, to be introduced. I keep getting surprised uh, by by new by new uh, additions to the difficulty level. So. This, for example, level 15, it was pretty difficult to even just get through this the first time I played. But uh, it's not necessarily just like the, the strict difficulty that, that escalates as you go through. It's also the matter of um, dealing with new, uh, new frightening elements of the game. We'll find quite a few more of those, I'm sure, as we make some progress here. Alright, go for it. Nice! These are checkpoints, by the way. Checkpoints are uh, usually either halfway or third of the way through the level. There we go, mission one complete, and our first mission was to take a scandalous photograph of a celebrity. We've done it. Boom. Now we go off to mission two. So, there's an also an unlock mechanic involved in this game. You have to get all of the flies in two more levels, for example, for me to unlock uh, the next five in mission two and six more to get the last five in mission two, so... We may be able to do that in this particular room right here, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. So this is a very basic mechanic, as you can see, all we gotta do is acquire keys and then go unlock some doors, so... Kinda reminds me of Super Meat Boy in that vein of introducing that at a later point. Such scandal, I know! Woo! My god. I haven't even seen this far, so this is all uh, very much new to me, but... Yeah, it gets kind of crazy pretty early on. And those uh, those assigned time limits actually get really difficult to beat as well, so... Certainly a lot of uh, difficulty to be associated with it. Luckily, I think all these guys are just on the pattern here, so we should be able to just scurry on by. There we go. Some flies. How much I've been unlocking. I also just really, really love the soundtrack so much. Oh, damn, that was silly. So oddly enough, it's actually very important to figure out which direction the uh, the bots are turning. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Very close. There we are. Excellent. I've been streaming for five days. Yes, it's true. This game does look really cool, doesn't it? Yes, again, uh, Spy Chameleon. Available for $6 via Humble Widget. They're also going for Steam Greenlight, so if you feel so inclined, feel free to toss a vote their way, and I have to sprint over here. My god, that's... Oh, I'm not the right color. That would help. There we go. Blend into that blue. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be going for the flies here. This is pretty damn difficult. Holy cow. There we go. And avoid it. Avoid it. Nice. Excellent. I probably could have gotten the flies there. That's okay. Give Waka. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's a uh, again a pretty straightforward approach here once you once you figure out the majority of what the game has to offer. But as you can see in the later stages, things do tend to get pretty difficult, and uh, there's quite a bit of strategy and planning involved with making it through some of these later stages, especially considering the fact that pretty much everything is based on patterns. Oh man, I'm really glad that paint can was there, otherwise... Oh, it's right on the edge of it. And that's another thing about it, too, is it never really feels unfair when you get caught. I feel like everything is very well done as far as the, uh, the response between the game and the player. And I, ne I never felt like it's the game's fault for not giving me a clear indication of how safe I am in the locations I'm covering. So, that, for example, very precise in the measure of how much space you have on the color that you're currently being disguised in, so... I like that a lot about the game itself. All right, let's change here. Also, as I mentioned very early on, the, the color shift is incredibly responsive, so that's a very, very good thing. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that camera spotting is very quick. Holy cow. All right, let's try this. There we go. Gotta grab the key and then immediately duck back onto the carpet. Nice. Get in. Oh god, where in the world is the door? I thought it was right there. Oh no! Where's the door? Oh my god. Where in the world is the door in this level? There it is. Okay, I see it. I was just being silly. Obvious best soundtrack NA all years. So very good. Okay, grab that key again, hop back on the paint. Switch to the yellow. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Got it close. Woo hoo hoo! Good stuff. Alright. Actually, I have time to see Bear's stream. Tim, hello! Good to see ya. Disturb the fish. Alright, this will be interesting. Poke. Ooh, hey! Nice. Oh, goodness. That is a very interesting mechanic. Fish! Gotta get, the, uh, gotta get the flies, here we go! Oh my god, oh my god, ah! Oh, damn! He's got a lever inside of his bowl. He knows what's up. Ah, that's easier. Alright. Grab everything, and out the door we go, sweet! Made it for the last little bit to catch the show, indeed, you did Star Fisher. So I'll just play a few more levels here and then uh, give you guys the the rest of your imagination time to decide for yourselves whether or not you have interest in Spy Chameleon, and I do highly recommend it because it is a ton of fun. I have been only playing the first mission or so, as you can tell, but I really enjoy this one. Totally dig it. I think you guys will too. Again, six bucks over on the website. Oh, wow, that was surprising. Okay, this bot's pathing is pretty easy to predict. Um, whoa, how in the world? Can't go behind him. Oh, I see what we're gonna do. Okay, so I gotta grab these two flies here. Wait for it to go back. Then we're gonna go like this. Go through- oh, damn, that is so close. Again, though. Always feels like I'm the one making the mistake and it's not the game just being cheap with me. There we go. Sweet. Scooby, take it easy, buddy. Alright. Last level, I think, because this looks pretty damn intense. This is going to require quite a bit of strategic planning. You can also use the uh, right joystick to... The right thumbstick, rather, to move around the map and kind of scope things out there. Okay, here we go. Off to the yellow. Can hit the checkpoint. Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, he spotted me. What if he turned around just because he saw me or something? I don't think he did. Okay. Time for another fish. Oh, wrong color. Ooh, there we go. Blue! Oh, you gotta be quick. You gotta be very, very quick. Oh, you feel like a freaking ninja when you get it that way, man. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. It's fun. It is a good time. It is a really good time. This is Spy Chameleon, guys. Definitely recommend it.
You'll find the famous stolen painting in room 30, and there are three more missions as well. Going for Steam Greenlight, these guys, so feel free to please go drop them a vote, give them some love. Also, $6 via the Humble Widget on SpikeMillion.com, or you can find the link down in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy. Thank you for watching if you're watching on Twitch.tv slash BearTaffy. That'll do it for the BearTaffy Live Show in the Indie Spotlight. Thanks so much for coming out. See you next time.